Welcome to another episode of Making Mondays. This one is for those people that don't want a seam running down the centre front of the mask. This mask is cut on fold, so you are required to have big enough fabric to cut this pattern out, unlike the last tutorial where the pattern is cut in two pieces. This mask comes with two filter lining options, just like the last tutorial. It has an optional nose bar slot to allow you to choose to use a nose bar or not. It is also easy for the removal and replacement of one. This is a three layered mask, but an option to add a filter for extra protection. You can choose the width of this by making the size shorter, so that the gap is wide enough to fit your fingers in. The second mask is just the same but with an option for the reverse filter lining for easy installation of the filter. Without the filter, this mask is only two layers thick in the center. You can choose the width of this by making the size shorter. I will show you how to make this mask using option one filter lining. Skip ahead for option two filter lining. Print off the pattern required. Don't cut this line, this is for option two filter lining. You are using the whole of the pattern. The edge reaches here. If you want a wider opening, just adjust the side for cutting off excess. Remember, you will lose about one centimeter, that's three eighths of an inch on this edge later. For demonstration purposes, I will use the full width. Remember to wash all fabrics and materials to free shrink it. Fold the main fabric with the right sides inwards, making sure the folded edge is on grain. You should iron to give it a crisp edge, but I am going to eyeball this. For demonstration purposes, I am going to use poly cotton for the lining. You need to adapt this to whatever mask you are making. Placing both fabrics together, you can cut out some work. Align the edges. Place the main mask pattern on the fold. Pin in place. For the filter lining, you will only need to fold one piece of fabric in half, with the right sides on the inside. Make sure the fold is on grain. Place the pattern on the folded edge. Pin in place. Cut all the pattern pieces. These lines here are just guidelines. You don't have to be too accurate with these. This gap is important. It is for your nose bar insertion. I always forget to leave a gap, so I'm going to place a pin here to remind me. Place a pin here. This is where you are going to start sewing. This pattern piece is made of two layers. Put a pin in this direction, put a pin in the other direction, then pull the two fabric pieces apart. If you don't want to use pins, you could always mark it with a piece of chalk. Burn and seal the elastic to prevent it from fraying. You can do this later or even thread it through the channel if you have a tool. Tie both ends to create a loop. Make sure the knots are small and tight. Repeat on the other piece. I like to use this type of wire if I can't get hold of aluminium bars. Cut it to size. I find it easier to insert this by folding the edges inwards. This is the stuff found in disposable face masks, but this one is much more hard wearing because it is double wired. You can get this in a wider size. We first sew the filter lining at the center front, then the edges. Sew one centimeter, that's three eighths of an inch seam allowance, starting from the point. Remember to back stitch at the beginning and end of your stitching. This should be second nature and I won't be reminding you. Press the foot up 
lower the needle into the point where you are going to start. Press the foot down, back stitch, sew until you reach the pin. Back stitch, leave a gap of about 1cm, that's 3 8 of an inch. Complete the remaining seam allowance. Open the filter lining with the wrong side facing up. Fold one edge over, 5mm then another 5mm. It is not important that this is 100% accurate. Edge stitch this. And repeat on the other edge. 5 millimeters, then another 5 millimeters. Moving on to the main mask piece. We're going to sew the center front on both fabrics. Starting at the pin, sew the curve. Stitch from the point where the pin is. Needle down first, then press the foot down. Back stitch, then complete the seam. Repeat on the other fabric. Now either clip, trim or notch the curved edges on all three fabric pieces. This will help the seam lie flat when you are pressing. On the notch closest to the centre front fold, make one cut slightly closer to the stitch line. It will allow the tip to lie flat when pressing. I try to avoid the gap area when I am notching the filter lining. Go to iron and press all the seams open. Place the main fabric with the right side facing up. Filter lining wrong side facing up. Lining wrong side facing up. Match the seams at the top edge. Put a pin in roughly 1cm, that's 3 8 of an inch, down from the edge. Check to make sure you pin through the seams. Matching along the top edge and pin in place. Repeat on the bottom edge of the mask. Best to match up in the centre, then work outwards. Sew this using 1cm or 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance.
Now the clip, trim or notch the curve section of the seam to allow it to turn nicely and to lie flat. When turning the right side out, choose the side between the outer fabric and the filter lining. Give it a press with the iron, make sure no seams are tucked in on the edges. I like to attach the elastic now because if I edge stitch first, it will be difficult to fold over the edges twice later. Remember the markings on the paper pattern, it's just a guide to where to fold. I like to fold my edges so that the second fold but next to the filter lining. If you choose to move the edge of the filter lining, then just use the paper pattern markings as a guide. Pull the elastic to the side, edge stitch this, careful not to sew the elastic. Repeat on the other edge. Tuck in the ends of the elastic inside the channel. Try not to stretch it. You can now edge stitch the top and the bottom edge of the mask. Pick out any seams tucked inside. You can now edge stitch along the top and the bottom edges of the mask. Fold the mask backwards so the inside is outside. Use the nose bar to measure how long the slot needs to be. Put a pin in where you want it to start and end. I like to make mine slightly longer. Starting from the left pin, so about 3 to 5 steps so it is wider than the nose bar. Needle down, pick up the presser foot and turn 90 degrees. Lower the presser foot, start sewing towards the next pin, using the edge of the mask as a guide to keep the stitching parallel. Stop, needle down, pick up the presser foot and turn 90 degrees. Put presser foot down and finish the remaining stitching. Fold the mask the wrong side out and slide in the nose bar. Trim off excess threads. Basic one piece mask option 2. For option 2 you will need both pattern pieces but you will need to adjust the filter lining pattern. You will only need this section. Either cut the line provided or shift it to the right a bit more. 
Whatever you choose to use, remember this edge is going to be roughly 1cm, that's 3 8 of an inch shorter. This filter lining pattern does not sit on the far right. It should sit here when finished. This will allow the edges to be folded and eliminate bulk. I will show you where to notch later. Remember to wash all fabrics and materials to pre-shrink it. Fold the fabrics with the right side on the inside. You should iron this to give it a crisp edge, but I'm going to eyeball this. For demonstration purposes, I am going to use poly cotton for the lining. You need to adapt this to whatever mask you are making. Place the large fabric underneath so it's easy to see. Make sure the folded edge is on grain. Align the fold edges and pin in place. By stacking the fabrics, you will cut out a lot of work. Place the pattern right along the folded edge. Pin in place. Fold the filter lining fabric with the right sides on the inside. Make sure the folded edge is on grain. Place the pattern away from the edge, keeping the grain line and the folded edge parallel in place. Cut out all the patterns. We are now going to add the important notches. Align the patterns together. The edge of the filter lining pattern should sit next to the inner fold guideline on the main mask pattern. I decided to use the inner line as a guide and notch at the raw edges at the top and the bottom. Before we can start sewing, mark this point. We're going to start sewing from here. You can use a piece of chalk to do this, I just use a pin. Because I have two fabric pieces, I'm going to pin from one side and also from the other side. So when you pull the two fabrics apart, both sides are marked. Because when using option 2 filter lining, we have to leave a gap in the lining fabric for the nose bar insertion. I always forget to leave a gap so I'm going to place a pin here to remind me. Put a pin roughly 1.5cm away from the raw edge. This is the centre of the gap. Burn and seal the elastic to prevent it from fraying. You can do this later or even thread it through the channel if you have a tool. Tie both ends to create a loop. Make sure the knots are small and tight. Repeat on the other piece. I like to use this type of wire if I can't get hold of aluminium bars. Cut it to size. I find it easier to insert this by folding the edges inwards. This is the stuff found in disposable face masks, but this one is much more hard wearing because it is double wired. You can get this in a wider size. We are going to sew the inner raw edge of the filter lining. Place the fabric pieces wrong side facing up. Remember the other fabric piece is opposite. Fold the edge 5mm then another 5mm. It doesn't have to be 100% accurate, the markings on the pattern is just a guide. Put a pin in to keep it in place. Do the same to the other piece but the opposite. By doing it this way you are bound to get it right. Edge stitch this down. This might be a bit difficult to do because the edge might twist a bit. Try not to stretch it. Remember to back stitch at the beginning and end of your stitching. This should be second nature and I won't be reminding you. Repeat. Cut off any excess fabric on the edges. When this is done and it's ironed, the edges will lie flat, so don't worry if it twists. 
main fabric piece. Stitch from the point where the pin is. Needle down first, then press the foot down. Back stitch, then complete the seam. Repeat with the lining fabric. This time you need to leave the one centimeter, that's three eighths of an inch gap where the pin is, then complete the seam. Press the foot up, lower the needle into the point where you are going to start. Press the foot down, back stitch, sew until you reach the pin. Back stitch, Leave a gap of about 1cm, that's 3 8 of an inch. Complete the remaining seam allowance. Now either clip, trim or notch the curved edges to help the seam lie flat when ironed. Remember for the final notch, we have to cut close to the stitch line. To enable the point to lie flat on one side, repeat on the lining, but avoid notching close to the gap. Press all the fabric pieces with an iron. Place the main fabric piece with the right side facing up. Put the lining wrong sides facing up. Match up the notches and place the pin to keep it in place. Repeat on the other edge. Don't worry too much if the edges don't quite meet up. Some fabrics shrink more than others when it's exposed to hot steam even after pre-shrinking. Lining with the wrong side facing up. Match the seams at the top edge. Put a pin in roughly one centimeter, that's three eighths of an inch down from the edge. Check to make sure you pin through the seams and work outwards. Matching the notches and pinning as you go. Matching along the top edge and pin in place. Repeat on the other edge, matching the notches and pinning as you go. So one centimeter that's 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance on the top and the bottom edge. Either clip, trim or notch along the curved edges to help the seam lie flat. Turn the mask the right way out. Turn between the main fabric and the filter lining. Pressing an iron and making sure no seams are tucked along the edges. Attach the elastic like this 
otherwise thread it through later before tying a knot. Remember the fold lines on the paper pattern are just guides. I usually fold it as small as I can but enough to cover the raw edges. Pull the elastic to the side to avoid it from being stitched. Edge stitch this. Repeat on the other edge. Tucking the ends of the elastic inside the channel, try not to stretch it. You can now edge stitch the top and the bottom edges. Time to insert the nose bar. Fold the mask with the wrong side out. Put the nose bar against the fold. Put two pins to mark the beginning and the end of the nose bar slot. I like to make it slightly longer than needed. Start from the left pin. Sew three to five steps so that it is bigger than the width of the nose bar. Needle down, pick up the presser foot and turn 90 degrees. Lower the presser foot, start sewing towards the next pin, using the edge of the mask as a guide to keep the stitching parallel. Stop at the pin, needle down, presser foot up, pivot 90 degrees. Presser foot down and complete the remaining stitching. Trim off any excess threads. Insert the nose bar like this. Remember to like, share, subscribe or follow. For more from me at Shani Makes, find me on Facebook, Instagram or visit my website at shanimakes.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.